Hey guys, it's me, Skylar Capri, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are filming my finale for my January project, Use It Up. So let's get right into the video because I have a lot of exciting things to show you guys. So starting off with my hand soaps and pocket bags, that's how I always start. Then we get into the body care. I used the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte hand soap this past week. And we started there, then we were there, and now we are right about here. So this is my second soap in the project. I finished up a Twisted Peppermint soap. So I didn't think I'd be able to finish this one, but I'm really happy with the progress I got in on this one. And actually, I like that scent, Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, a lot better in the hand soap than in the body care. In the body care, it's a little bit too overpowering for me, but if that might be the same for you, I suggest the hand soap because it's actually a really nice smell and it doesn't like give me a headache or kind of go weird on my skin or anything. So that is the hand soaps. Now onto the pocket back slash hand sanitizers. I added pineapple mango into the project and I really don't have any progress on this. I did use this, I think, once or twice. I've been throwing it in my lunchbox, and that's when I use it, but I don't have really any progress on it this week. The next pocket bag I had, this was put in at the beginning of the project. This is the Cozy Cashmere Hand Sanitizer. We started right here, then moved here, and now we're right down here. At the beginning of the project, I did just want to get some use out of this, so this actually is really good progress for me and I'm really pleased with this. I don't know if I'll continue this into my February project Use It Up just because I'm a little tired of the scent, but we will see. But I'm really happy that I was able to get this much use out of this. All right, now onto the body care. I did finish a couple of items, which I showed in my last video, but I finished the Vanilla Bean Noel shower gel in the full size. I finished the Disco Daydream body cream in the full size. And then I also finished this Love and Sunshine Fine Fragrance Mist in the mini. Y'all, this is so old, like that one has the old packaging and everything. So those are the ones that I finished for the project. I accidentally, I guess I threw away the Twisted Peppermint hand soap, so I don't have that to show you. But now we can kind of move on to what I was using this past week. In this past week, I've been using my Winter Candy Apple set, and I've also been using Beautiful Day because this also has an apple-y note to it. So let's start with the progress for the Winter Candy Apple Shower Gel. I'll mark it first. I am getting so sick of this shower gel. I usually love this scent. I don't know what it is, but like it's no longer smelling like Winter Candy Apple. It kind of smells like when you carve a pumpkin, like, like the inside of the pumpkin, like the pumpkin guts. This is what this smells like to me, and it's just, it's making me like nauseous in the shower. So she will definitely be taking a break until I'm ready to use her again. But we started off, this is kind of hard packaging, right there. Then we went right there, right there, and now we're right here. So I didn't get much use out of this one this week. I was actually using something else, which I'm not going to say because I'm going to put that in my February intro. A lot of my February stuff will be completely different than this just because I am so sick of these scents. But I did get some okay use out of this and I have about mm, just under half of the bottle left. So not too much more to go, but I think I'll like this later on down the road. I think I just need to take a break from it. So also I have some really exciting scents for February that I'm I want to try. So next we did the, we had the winter candy apple in the full size body cream. Again, I didn't get much use out of this one. I just really, it was enough in the shower and then I just really didn't want it lingering on my skin any longer. So a lot less progress than usual. We started at the top, then we were down to there, down to there, and now we're finishing it just about here. This is the easiest section of the body cream to use because the packaging is naturally like thinner. The product, you know, this is like really full of product and this is not. So this might look like a crazy amount of progress, but really it's just the thinnest part of packaging. So that is where Winter Candy Apple is. Both of these are around that halfway point. So I like when I'm able to use a set almost together simultaneously. Um, I feel like that never happens with my conditioner and my shampoo. I feel like I go through shampoo really quick and conditioners behind, but with my body care, I'm usually able to sort of use them at the same time so that I can finish them at the same time and don't have like just a little bit of the product left. So happy with the progress on that, but definitely finished with the scent um, for now. So now we have the beautiful day, a fine fragrance mist 
trying to, oh gosh, my lines on this are not great at all. But we started the project there, then we went down to there, and now we're here. So like taking back, there's really not a lot left in this bottle. I really enjoy this. I think this is a great scent for spraying. I know they are bringing it back, so that's why I'm gonna spend a little bit more time talking about this one. This one's just like a fresh, it's like a fresh apple -y scent with more of a perfume undertone. It's not like a floral or really fruity. I would say it's definitely more of a perfumey apple. I know the packaging is completely different, but I think it's like a green with white flowers on it. I believe it was in my purchaser pass for the spring collection. Um, if that is, I'll link it somewhere in the cards. But um, this is a really nice scent for, for spring. If you've never tried it, I would recommend at least smelling it in store. If you're not able to get in store, I would recommend picking it up if you like apple scents with perfume undertones. Also, the packaging on these are always really cute and like scream springtime. So I was excited to use this this past month. So that was the beautiful day fine fragrance mist. I wanted to say shower gel. And then the last item we had is this lip gloss, which of course is tipped over like it always does, but I really didn't use this one at all this week. I just wasn't in the mood to wear lip gloss, and I feel like that's the same with some of these products. I feel like the last week there was like really low progress on them just because I just wasn't in the mood to use them. I'm sick of them. I'm ready to move on to something else. So that is going to be the finale for my January project use it up. I managed to use up four products and get good progress on everything else. So I am happy with how I did. I'm going to be in the same outfit filming my February project use it up intro. So I'll film that right after this, but I'm really excited to continue these monthly projects. I think this is a great length of time for me just because I don't have like a huge collection and it is realistic for me to be able to use maybe half of a shower gel and half of a body cream. In a lot of my products, I just have like that halfway left. So I'm really excited for the February project to use it up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.